horn players, um, at a certain time in their development as they get older, have to become more flexible players. Um, we play over a great range of notes. Our range is well over two octaves, two and a half octaves. Our goal would be something like four, four and a half. Um, and a lot of times music is written for us to, to go from one to the other in a very quick amount of time, not in much time at all. So we have to develop a really good flexibility on the instrument. Um, being able to move around in the range. Um, there are a couple things that we can do to really help uh, to become more flexible players. Uh, w one of these very important things is to play with a wet lip. Um, there's basically a f two philosophies um, as far as wet lip goes, and one is wet lip and the other is no wet lip or dry lip. Um, I support the wet lip idea because our mouthpiece is awfully small and we have to fit in a very specialized space in the mouth as opposed to say the tuba where the mouthpiece covers pretty much all of the lips and perhaps they're able to function inside of that big mouthpiece in their whole range. Uh, they can't really move the mouthpiece higher because the nose is in the way. Uh, so when we play, we have to cover a lot of notes and be able to move around. I think having a wet lip allows the mouthpiece to be slippery and slide around a little bit to accommodate the lip moving in and out by very small degrees, um, but moving in and out of the mouthpiece. Um, I don't think the sensation of having the mouthpiece stuck on the mouthpiece is the way to go. Now, a lot of students play this way because they feel more secure. They actually feel quite insecure having uh, the, the mouthpiece sliding around. They feel like uh, they really need the security of it sticking to their face. To them, my answer is uh, you need to spend more time developing the corners and independence, that's what I call it, independence from the mouthpiece so that you're not relying on mouthpiece pressure and the mouthpiece actually sticking on the face, but you're actually able to have a lot of strength and flexibility without the mouthpiece so that this is just the amplification, the tool for amplification of what we're already doing very well without it. So wet lip really helps flexibility. Um, another thing that I think helps flexibility quite a bit is eventually training your students to get that horn off the leg. If we are once again locked in perhaps a more secure position on the leg, then we, don't, we aren't able to move around a lot freely. Uh, the horn isn't able to move freely in association. When I play um, into that low range um, and I'm changing my oral cavity and other things, I want to be able to move my horns to accommodate some of those shifts and some of those moves. I'll give you an example of just a chromatic scale and maybe from the, the video you're able to see um, some variation and if I'm locked into my knee I may feel more secure, I may feel like I really have something to lean on, but it actually hampers my ability to be flexible. actually able to play a, a better deal of my range um, being free of, of my leg. So wet lip and playing with a horn off the, uh, off the knee so that your lead pipe angle can move around a lot more freely are two very important things for flexibility. Uh, the other final thing which will help all of our horn playing uh, but also flexibility is using lots of good air. Air solves most of our problems. Better air, good use of air will fix a lot of things that we do and flexibility is no exception.